This is the English Literature Web YouTube channel. I am Professor L.B. Gaikwad, who is teaching here the poem Sleep by Philip Sidney. This is the part 1 and the video number 26. Philip calls the sleep here. It means that here Philip Sidney invites the sleep because he likes it or the sleep is liked by him. He calls it very earnestly and pitiably. He calls means he invites this sleep very much honestly, very much earnestly or pitiably because he needs the sleep. Because the sleep has become very essential for him and that's why he earnestly invites the sleep. Philip needs the sleep as it is the piece of perfect or exact not. Remember here the poet says that this sleep is very much significant for him and it is the best not, not means K-N-O-T, not, that is the particular bondage with the poet, it is the particular unity with the poet. And that's why the poet needs this sleep because it is the particular friendship or relationship with the poet and that's why he calls the sleep, he invites the sleep very earnestly. The sleep is the place of giving the wheat which is called the place of giving the food. Remember here, the next explanation is that the sleep is the place of giving the wheat. Remember, when the poet will be united with the sleep or when the sleep will be with the poet or when there will be the unity of the sleep and the poet, that will be the atmosphere of the wheat. Means that will be the atmosphere of the intelligence, uh, brilliance and that's why the poet invites the sleep. And this sleep or this uh, cleverness of the sleep is called the place of giving the food because the poet will get food there, the poet will be satisfied there with the company of the sleep because the poet wants now the uh, food from the sleep because the poet has been tired of the situation of the world and that's why he wants to go to sleep and that sleep will provide him the particular food according to the poet. It is a balm or medicine over the wounds or pangs of the poet. The poet says that he has been disturbed by the society, he has been disturbed by the worries and cares of the society. That's why there are many pangs with him running and so this sleep is the particular medicine over these wounds or over these pangs and that's why the poet invites the sleep uh, to be united with him because his tension will be increased by this sleep. It is the state of the poor man. According to the poet, this sleep is nothing but the possession of the poor man. It is the prisoner's release, means when the prisoner is there in the jail, uh, this uh, sleep makes free this prisoner from the tension and that's why according to the poet this sleep is the uh, release or uh, freeness to the uh, prisoner also. It is the judge between the, uh, <clears throat> between the below and above positions differently. Remember the poet has seen here the importance or significance of the sleep and he calls this sleep as the judge because this sleep judges between the below situation and the above situation means the what is the common and what is the uncommon is seen by this sleep and that's why he calls this sleep a judge. It is the shield of the proofs in life. Remember the poet has called this sleep a particular shield. Shield means a particular support or help to the poet. That is, and it is particularly the help or the assistance to the poet in his life. 
the poet requests the sleep to be his shield and that's why the poet says this uh, sleep uh, that his sleep uh, should become his shield he requests it to take him out of the sorrows like uh, fires because uh, here the poet is interested uh, because he has got the particular wounds the particular pangs and cares and worries from the world and that's why this poet is very much unhappy very much sorrowful and uh, his condition has been very much pathetic and that's why uh, he requests uh, his uh, sleep to take him out of all these pangs and distur disturbances of life and so here we will say that this uh, sleep is significant for the poet uh, it should come to the poet because the reluctance makes a great events because this uh, uh, particular society has given only the reluctance to the poet the disappointment to the poet the worries to the poet and that's why uh, this particular uh, society has uh, made him means made the poet very bored and that's why he is here wants to sleep permanently and that's why he is inviting here to uh, make uh, a friendship with the poet the reluctance has has caught the poet seriously the poet has been very much unhappy the poet has been very much reluctant because of the situation of the society and that's why here i will say that the poet is bored of the life and that's why he calls the sleep uh, to be his friend because he wants to sleep permanently the poet cannot fall out of it because the poet cannot come out of the uh, sleep or the poet wants to go into the sleep and he wants that he should not come out of the sleep because uh, the poet uh, has been caught by the worries and tensions of the society and these tensions have there have been there with him and that's why here i will say that these tensions will not leave this poet and that's why this poet says that this sleep will be a solution over all these problems and that's why he calls this sleep very nicely only the sleep uh, can re uh, re release the poet from the cares and worries the poet requests the sleep to create the social war which should be stopped by the sleep only remember the poet uh, is very much interested uh, in the social activities the poet is a social minded man the poet is social by mind and that's why here the poet has requested this sleep to make the social war and he knows very well that this social war will be stopped by this sleep if the sleep helps the poet he shall fold his hands before it with his sincere soul the poet is requesting this sleep very honestly and if this sleep uh, unites with him then it will be the better chance for the poet or it will be the opportunity uh, to much heightened and the poet will be united with the sleep and then what will happen the poet will fold his hands the poet will, the poet will salute the sleep and he will permanent sleep uh, with the sleep and that will be the permanent um, rest to the soul of the poet because the poet has tired of the particular situation of the society he requests the sleep to be his light pillow and to make a beautiful bed for him remember here the poet has requested the sleep to become his light pillow because he wants to uh, put his head uh, upon that pillow and when that sleep will be the light pillow for the poet the poet will be uh, will be very much happy interested and his a soul or mind will be silent there and then it will be the very heavenly situation in his life and that's why the poet requests the sleep to be his slight uh, pillow he requests the sleep to create such a room where there shall be no confusion remember 
the poet is very much tired of the society he has been bored of the society or uh, the society has given him a lot of wounds and that's why there is the confusion in the mind of the poet that's why here uh, he wants to request the sleep to create such a room uh, which will be really without the confusion means there will be no confusion in the room there will be only the sleep and the poet means permanently the poet will sleep uh, there uh, it means that the society outside is very much confused the people have confused him or the people are are also very selfish and that's why the poet has requested the sleep to make such a room where there will be no people there will be no confusion and there shall be the darkness of lighting remember the poet has uh, told here that there shall be the darkness of lighting remember means there will be the happiness and that happiness will be the darkness here according to the poet again the poet says that the sleep shall make silent the headache of the poet's head which shall be tired of sorrow remember the poet has been tired because of the sorrow of the society that's why his head is aching and when the poet will sleep a, a good sleep then his head his headache will go away from him and that's why here the poet is requesting the sleep uh, to come uh, to him and when the uh, sleep will come to him he will go to sleep and his life will be very much uh, i will say full of the uh, rest everyone has praised the poet therefore the head has tired so the sleep should release the tiredness remember the poet is the popular man in the society that's why the people have given only the praise and garlands and uh, uh, i will say the uh, publicity to the poet but the poet has got no peace of mind or no goodness of uh, of life from the people and that's why this poet has been tired of the society so he is requesting the sleep uh, to make him very satisfied because he wants to go to the sleep permanently this phrase has created problems before him uh, remember this sleep has uh, been there with the poet and when she or he or i will say it that is called the god perhaps the goddess perhaps or the sleep perhaps means it shall be the um, uh, i will say the neuter thing perhaps that is the uh, particular lifeless thing and that's why the poet calls the sleep as he she or it and when he she or it in the form of the sleep will be with him then uh, what will happen the selfishness of the poet will go out and his headache also will go out and then the tiredness uh, which has come to the body of the poet will go permanently out of his body and that's why here the poet says that this phrase which the people have given to him has created only the problems before the poet and the self, self selfishness of the people uh, have given him only the garlands or the publicity but nobody has given any kind of a uh, sweet word or very honest word to the poet and that's why here this poet has become very much tired of the situation so he he wants now to sleep permanently he wants to, he 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 is wanting here the date to the god and that's why he is calling god he is calling the goddess or he is calling the sleep to be uh, to be sleeping permanently all these things are of the sleep according to the poet and so the poet says that all this situation or the happiness or all these things which will be very much uh, great things Uh, will be done only because of the sleep according to the poet he requests that the sleep should not go out of his body the poet says that when the sleep will come to the uh, come to the poet or when that sleep will enter into the body of the poet that sleep should not go out of the body because the poet should be always sleeping that is the point here it means 
he should be permanently sleeping he should be experiencing and experiencing with the sleep more than other places because the poet has seen other places but he has got the bad experiences of these places and that's why the poet should experience the good memories or sweet memories other than other than the places which he has seen in the life of the uh, man the poet will see in the sleep the image of stella remember the poet wants to see the image of the stella uh, stella is here the uh, image of the star the sky or the image of the uh, poem or the image of the beloved of the poet stella is the star in the sky or it is philip's poem when he wants to live permanently with the poem it means that the poet has requested here the sleep it means that he has requested his poem because he wants to go permanently into the uh, life of the poem because he has tired of the society here we have seen the poem sleep by philip sidney the first part in the second part uh, we will come after uh, after some days and now i want to take your leave thank you thank you very much